Hey there, Posture Guys and Gals, Justin Archer here, aka The Posture Guy, your number one source on pain, posture, and performance. And today I want to talk to you about the good and bad of muscle cramps. That's right, you heard me correctly. There are good times to have muscle cramps. Obviously, not when you're swimming, but let's say if you're trying to re engage a muscle using the posture alignment therapy process. And this is one that I see very often, especially with my clients that I work with live over Skype they'll be doing a particular exercise and I say, okay, you should feel in this area. And I said, okay, not yet. And I said, don't worry about the cramp that's about to happen. And they said, what cramp, ah, ah. <laughs> you know, maybe it's, they're doing some isolated hip flexor lifts and all of a sudden they feel a cramp in their hip flexor area. Well, the reason that cramp, or you know, you may use other names, uh, cramps, muscle spasms, Charlie horse, um, you know, a muscle knot, you know, whatever, but we'll stick with, with a cramp. The reason that that cramp happens is because the muscles, like a light switch, have been turned back on. And those muscles, if you have a, a dysfunctional or kind of dormant muscle that hasn't been engaged, hasn't been activated in a very long time, it doesn't quite know what to do with that, that stimulus. So you do enough, let's say, isolated hip flexor lifts, and you get that hip flexor to engage, and it cramps, well, Think of it this way, you ever go into like an old factory or in any old uh, building or establishment, you turn the lights and the lights, they don't just turn on, they kind of they kind of light up but they flicker for a while until they finally get going. Well, that's kind of what's happening inside your body is the hip flexor is spasming, it's cramping because it's not quite sure what to do with the stimulus that you're feeding it. But that's actually a good sign. I always tell people when they're doing the exercise and they cramp, especially in the muscle, uh, or muscle group groups that we're working in that exercise, it's a good sign. It means that we're that you're making progress and that the exercise is doing what it's designed to do uh, and keep going. You can lessen up a little bit on the intensity uh, of the contraction if that helps kind of ease the cramp, but keep going through it because then the more that you do that, the less often you're going to have the cramps and eventually you won't have them at all, but you'll have a functional muscle which will um, contribute to a better aligned posture and of course less pain. So that's a time when cramping is very, very good. Um, I always like to celebrate it. People think I'm crazy, but they'll cramp and I'm like, hey, let's do a shot or something, you know? Uh, let's celebrate. And uh, once they understand kind of the, the science behind it, they go, oh, all right, I get it. That's why cramp is bad, or is, is a good thing. Um, granted, it may not always feel the best. So I can relate and I'm with you on that. But you know, when I first started using posh alignment therapy, almost basically, yeah, like a decade ago, um, I used to get a lot of cramps all in my body, my hip flexors, my glutes, um, my shoulders, all kinds of places. And now I hardly get them. And it's funny, on the rare occasion that I do, I actually kind of get excited. They still kind of, you know, are uncomfortable, but I'm kind of like, oh, oh, cramp. Yes! <laughs> um, so again, don't be discouraged. Actually be encouraged when you get those cramps when you're doing the exercises. Now, there's other times when getting a cramp is not a good thing. So for example, if you're just static, if you're sitting or lying down and you get a muscle cramp, okay? Let's say you're just lying in bed at night and you get some severe cramps. Well, there's really two causes uh, that that can come from. Number one is dehydration. And this is probably you know, 90% of the time, what it actually is, is uh, most of the people that I see that come to me for help are dehydrated. And that's a big reason why they're in the chronic pain that they are in. So you want to be, you want to make sure that you're drinking a sufficient amount of water. How much is enough? Well, a good ballpark figure to start from is half your body weight in ounces of water per day. So if you're 200 pounds, you have 100 ounces spread out over the, let's say, 16 uh hours you're awake out of a 24 hour period, okay? And that's gonna make sure that your muscles are hydrated enough because every time you contract a muscle, it actually, I mean, even from doing something like this small or breathing, your, your diaphragm and your lungs and everything contracting, all that takes water. So if you don't have enough water, and let me, let me really point out here, water, not beer or coffee, um, you know, or, or sodas and things like that. I'm talking about just straight water, half your body weight in ounces of water. If you're not hydrated enough, your body can't function properly. All right. Also, if you have any type of like arthritis, bursitis, tendonitis, um, 
think if I, if I didn't already mention bursitis, any type of inflammatory response in and around joints. Well, a big reason for that is to lubricate your joints, your body has uh, uses synovial fluid that comes out of these bursa sacs. And most of that solution of the synovial fluid is water. So you need water just like a car needs oil to keep running and running properly. All right. So if you want to learn more about you know, how important proper uh, water intake is, proper hydration, I'll hook a link up. Uh, hook a link down up below, I don't know, I'll put a link down below this video for you to look at, all right? Now, the third and probably least likely reason that you're having cramps, although I have uh, found people that this is the reason, is that they have some sort of vitamin, uh, mineral, and or electrolyte imbalance, okay? And it's usually coming from the B vitamins, vitamin C, um, calcium, magnesium, and then there's several other, you know, electrolytes and minerals that could be off. Now, you may be saying, but wait, you know, I take a, a mineral or multivitamin or some type of uh, supplement to make sure I get these, these, uh, these vitamins and minerals in my diet. And, and that's great. Understand, you may have either a deficiency or an imbalance. If you're not taking any of those supplements, and if you're probably not eating the best of diets, it's probably a deficiency. If you're eating a pretty healthy diet, and you're also supplementing, it could be that you may have too much of one mineral or electrolyte uh, or vitamin and then not enough of the other. For your body to maintain a certain homeostasis, there has to be certain ratios, a certain balance. So, you know, I would definitely say at that point, you know, go to your doctor or there's plenty of other people you can look up where you can actually take, um, you can do these blood tests, which will test for any deficiencies in vitamins, minerals, and electrolytes. And then, instead of just kind of taking a shot in the dark and taking some of these, you know, taking some calcium, taking some magnesium, taking some B vitamins, it'll actually tell you, hey, you're good on your C vitamins, you need a little bit more B, you need a little less calcium, and a little bit more magnesium, and then, you know, no more cramps, all right? Um, but, again, if you're cramping while you're doing exercise, whether you're doing these posh line of therapy exercises, or any other type of exercise, it's usually a good sign. I know it's not comfortable, but it's, it's, you're making progress because you're working muscles that haven't been worked in a long time. Um, if you're having cramps you know, while in static positions such as sleeping or sitting, it's probably because you're dehydrated. Uh, you know, try to correct that first. And then you know, if it's neither one of those two, you know, you've done both of those uh, and the cramps are still happening, then I recommend go get a blood test and just check to see how your vitamins, minerals, and electrolyte uh, balances are. All right? Anyways, hopefully that shines a little bit more light on the topic of cramping. I know it gets a really bad rap because obviously nobody likes the feeling of having a muscle cramp, but uh, there are times when it's actually a good thing. All right? Anyways, thanks for joining me inside today's video. I look forward to seeing you inside the next one. Until then, take care and keep moving.